What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and kicking off our Thursday hype, I would say, or Thursday non-hype, depending on how you feel about these Player of the Weeks. But we are starting with the Player of the Week, Worldwide Agent or Worldwide Cards uh, for the Player of the Week this week. Of course, you can get your free one as normal in the events if you want a free spin. But we do have a couple of, again, I'm going to say mixed bag selections, right? Obviously, you know, some people will like uh, Bobby Firmino being here. And Guisa has a good selection as well. Uh, Guiri is a good selection. Sharky, there's some good players in here. But I do think that the top guys are probably not going to really... Yeah, I mean, I don't think that they're like upper, upper guys. Um, but we will go through them all. We do have a couple of nice selections here. And yeah, let's get cracking with the Thursday player breakdown of the player of the week. So we're going to start with Hermosa. Now, all of these players obviously have a very big advantage because they're on A form. And most of them are going to have a nice selection of skills and stats. You don't need to train. If you are a newcomer, you basically don't need to train these players at all. So these players start at a player of the week rating. So it's like a, an in-form version of the cards. 90 overall. Build up, um, which is nice because he can play a little bit of ball out from the back. What I like about Hermoso, Hermoso lads, is that he's got a one touch pass, low lofted pass, but he's also got blocker and interception and aerial superiority, which is fantastic for a centre back. He can also play left back, although he's a little bit too slow for left back. So I think he's a very solid, if not meta, centre back. He's not at that upper tier of the centre backs, in my opinion. There's a couple of things I don't really like about his card. But blocker, interception, man marking, area superiority and fighting spirit with 92 aggression is pretty decent. But again, as I said, he's let down by the tackling and the defensive awareness just being a little bit low. Um, speed isn't that bad and acceleration, but I do think his defensive capabilities are just a little bit off where they need to be. Next up, we have got Tavernier. Is that his name, lads? Taver... Tavernier. Yeah, Tavernier. Tavernier, there we go, that's sorry, it's early, it's early doors, so I'm trying to get this video out before work, so I'm a little bit groggy, but anyway, we move on, so this guy's got a wavering form, he's on A, a rating as a right back, he's actually a pretty decent player, let's looking at his stats, but again, you have that same issue, if you do, right, this is my opinion, okay, if you just want kind of like layman's kind of advice, if you are starting off, or if you've been playing the game for a while, and you're looking to develop your squad, you either need to have speed or you need to have high defense from your full backs, right? Because you either need to bomb forward with him and have a high stamina, high engine and high speed to be able to get back on, de on defense um, and to get forward with a counter attack or else you need to have, you know, kind of him as like a third man center back. Like uh, if you are going to be playing that way or even if you have a left and right back that are defensive uh, minded, you need to have the defense into the into the 80s at least. That's just my opinion. Now, this guy does have one touch pass and interception, which is nice and fighting spirit. So I do like that with the unwavering form. Not a bad card at all. We also have a Romagnoli. This guy, uh, again, he has the same issues, lads, as Hermoso. Um, doesn't have enough tackling, in my opinion. His aggression is way lower. He doesn't have unwavering form. Um... He does have some nice uh, player skills, obviously. He has area superiority, interception, blocker, heading man marking, and acrobatic clearance. Um, but I do think that Hermoso is a better player than him. And I also think with that 92 rating, I mean, this guy, to me, looks like an 85 rated center back. That's kind of what he looks like. I think his passing and heading and aerial ability um, lift up this card to that 92, which is kind of empty calorie stats, in my opinion. Um, I do like his jump. That will go into the 90s when you do get the boost. Um, but yeah, again, he's just a very kind of average run-of-the-mill centre-back. Now, lads, look, there is going to be players that play way above their stats for you, but I'm just giving you a general um, breakdown of this card. We also have Guairi, 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 yeah, I think it's Guairi. Um, this guy is a very, very good player. Um, he's just got average stats on everything. Now, what I always look for in my left or right backs or left or right midfielders is the ability to have that kind of emergency pass option of an early cross or else a pinpoint cross. Uh, this guy has neither, which is a bit of a pity. He has one touch and no look, and he also has double touch, which is extremely good. But the shooting stats and stuff, I'm not really going to use. And he is down as a whole player as well. So you have to play him left back, left midfield, um, which I think, you know, his dribbling is good, but his his pace and stamina aren't aren't exceptional for this role that you're going to be playing him in. Um, I know he's young and stuff. We've also got Sharky. This guy is a fantastic player, lads. He's amazing. I have used him in my early, early, early squads. 
Um, and I've kind of built my attack and midfielder a role around him. Now, I would definitely love to try him out this week on the stream later today. But again, the only problem with this guy, lads, is if you are used to playing with whole players, and if you are used to playing with extremely fast and agile, um, high acceleration type attack and midfielders, this guy is just a little bit slow. That's the, that's the big issue with him. Now, I do like his balance. I do like his dribbling. I do like his finishing and passing. Um, they're good stats for an attacking midfielder, but I don't think that, you know, playing this role, right, you either need to have, you know, very, very, very high passing into the mid 80s or high 80s if you don't have the acceleration and Sharky doesn't have the acceleration. So, I mean, if he had 85 acceleration here or 86 acceleration, I wouldn't really worry too much about the low pass, even though he is a creative playmaker. You know, you can just play one touch and go with him. You know what I mean? He does have a lot of nice player skills here that you could really bypass his passing ability. Um, but I also do like that he has chip shot control, double touch, soul control um, with that special double touch. He is a very nice player to handle and he is mobile, versatile, and he is good to use on the pitch. But I just feel that like he doesn't have that acceleration that a lot of players have. Usually if you've got an AMF that doesn't have exceptional passing, such as this guy, you, you will have acceleration and balance nearly up at the 90 range, you know, and this guy doesn't have it. So, yeah, I definitely think he's kind of in the mold of Simmons that they released um, and a couple of other players like Guler who they released as well. But I just feel like he's just lacking that little bit, even though he's got exceptional player skills. We also have uh, Anguisa. And this guy is somebody that I would definitely recommend if you do get him. Just got average stats and pretty much everything. Now, I would say that his, his standard card is quite decent as well. I won't spend too much time on him. Double touch, one touch pass, track back, interception, play him as a CMF. He is a disruptor. He's an interceptor. He pretty much does everything that you could possibly want defensively. And he's still got a bit about him, a bit about him going forward as well. So he is a good player. Acceleration is a little bit low. The big killer with this card, in my opinion, is the balance. Because he does have very high physical contact. But I think that the defensive awareness and the balance is a little bit of an issue with the way that the gameplay has gone. We also have Embumo. If that's how you pronounce his name, lads, I'm absolutely desperate at a French name sometimes. Now, this is what I'm talking about with wingers, right? Or left or right midfielders. He's got early crosser and he's got pinpoint crosser. So that's kind of your go-to um, your go -to emergency, press the red button if you are getting in trouble and you're not able to break somebody down with quick touches or anything like that. Um, you know, because sometimes people will just close out the middle of the pitch um, and shut you down centrally. So you need to have a bit of switching it up on the wings. Again, he's got some lovely uh, player skills, but again, he's, in my opinion, um, he's just not good enough. You know, that tight possession is a big letdown there. 73 is very, very poor for a winger. And if you're using him on the right mid, I would be just passing with him quite a bit. We also have Alvarez. Now, this guy is very, very good. He's a goal poacher. Kind of reminds me of uh, Gabriel Jesus uh, with the one-touch pass. He's also got the Marseille turn, cut behind and turn, soul control, uh, true passing, pinpoint cross and track back, early cross or long ranger. He can play as a winger. That's where I would probably play him as a cross and winger. But then you also have the 85 finishing with 83 offensive awareness and 83 balance. In my opinion, his stats just aren't good enough for the position that he'd be picking up. I mean, you're going to be... Look, if you get him and you if you started the game yesterday and you sign him, he's obviously going to be a massive upgrade for you compared to the, the free or default players. Um, but I do feel that like you can get better standard cards very, very easily, um, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, Firmino has the same issue. He's just too slow to lead the line as a centre forward if you're used to playing with a fast centre forward. And then if you're using him as a target man or you're using him as a deep line forward to come close for the ball, come tight for the ball, come deep for the ball and just lay it off, Again, you've got that issue. He's only got 79 finishing, right? His passing is extremely good. His tight possession and dribbling are extremely good. But he is a harder player to play with. Now, he does have super sub. He also has first time shot with one touch pass, which is very, very nice for this card. Um, and in fairness, he's kind of surprised me a little bit. He's not a do-it-all kind of center forward. He's not tall enough for the air. Um, he's not good enough on the ground. He's not rapid enough or quick enough on the ground. But I do like his little mix of stats, like with the 91 ball or tight possession with 85 balance. Um, finishing is a bit of an issue. I think if this guy had 84, 85 finishing, he would be a very extremely a good option to have. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind as well. And then last but not least, we have David De Gea, who I won't spend too much time on. All you need to know about a goalkeeper, lads, is if they have 90-plus reflexes. De Gea has that. 
I've had a mixed time with the Gale lads. Sometimes he's amazing for me. Sometimes he's absolutely desperate for me. Um, similar to real life as a United fan. It is tough sometimes. I really rate him. I think he's a really good player. He's got low punt, long throw. He doesn't have unwavering form. Usually my goal is I like to have him with unwavering form. And then we have a Giroud, right? So Giroud is a very good player as well. He's in a similar kind of boat as Firmino. The two of them are very similar players, except Giroud is obviously way taller. Um, he's way better in the air. Uh, and Fox in the box, but they are kind of, they are, in my opinion, I say similar players, but they're nowhere, they're nowhere near similarities um, on the stats, but what I mean with similar players is you have two options of playing centre forwards, right, you either have your, you know, target man, Fox in the box, goal poacher that's tall, that's able to knock on ball, such as Haaland, Giroud, and can finish as well with high finishing, high heading, um, doesn't have to be that fast sometimes, you know, you've got collar, you've got um, Giroud, you've got Firmino, you've got Benzema, you've got Lewandowski, and then you have your your small, versatile, nimble, in and out, uh, running gun center forwards such as Romario, Eto'o, Mbappe. Um, I would even put Salah in there, Kubo. Um, so yeah, I think as well, uh, Giroud, he's an he's an okay player. I think what's let what lets him down is the same thing that lets Haaland down is the lack of balance, and that does come into it, even though he's got high physical contact. But I do, again, as a super sub, I think he's very good. So my three top picks, lads, even though um, it's kind of a tough one this week, I would say Hermoso is pretty decent. Shirky is pretty decent. And I would also say as well that, yeah, I've kind of warmed up to Firmino. He's got a very unique kind of player card. Um, but I would probably put Anguisa in there as well. So um, there is some nice options there. But yeah, in my opinion, it's a bit of a disappointing player of the week. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you in the, in the stream later. Peace.